Yeah, yeah. Don't don't post the video on Facebook right now. Why? Be because everyone's on that Robin Williams death hype train. Okay, no one's gonna give a fuck. Welcome to a very, very special episode of Suryukan Bra. People have always debated whether you should switch to an arcade stick from a pad when you pick up a fighting game. Well, I want to put this debate to rest because if the evil world champ can take out a bunch of top Japanese players using one of these god tier pads, then you have no excuse, okay? But basically, play with whatever you're comfortable with or whatever you're comfortable learning on. Don't let any fight stick enthusiast bully you into buying a fight stick. Because uh, Snake Eyes on Wednesday Night Fights actually uses a pad, Pi Smug and Pi Zeus actually use Xbox 360 controllers, and most Injustice players use pads as well. But the creators of Street Fighter actually designed the mechanics of the game to be easier to learn on with an arcade stick. So for those that are looking to buy their first stick, I have a couple recommendations for you. Although these are my personal reviews, these are not definite. I mean, you don't see me in top A, you know what I'm saying? But my definite piece of advice for you is not to cheap out on your first stick because most likely when you receive it, you're just gonna end up shelling more money in the future to buy a better one anyways. Because when it comes to arcade sticks, you really do get what you pay for. So let's check out our first one. So this is actually the first stick that I ever got for Vanilla Street Fighter. Uh, this is your standard EMP ravioli poverty stick. It looks like and was probably made by Hasbro. Uh, you've probably seen this when you've been shopping on Amazon for your first stick. It's pretty cheap. It's about $40. The build quality, I would compare it to a toaster with some buns on it because there is no start or select button whatsoever. And it's a little bit too small where it kind of slides around your lap when you're playing. The lever is decent, but the buttons are way too stiff. That's why I would actually recommend uh, recommend against buying this for your first stick. Please shell out more money to buy a decent stick. But it is cross-platform, so um, 10 out of 10 if you're EMP and 2 out of 10 if you're everyone else. So this is your Mountain Dew Baja Blast eSports Fight Stick. The Mad Cats Tournament Edition arcade fight stick. This is probably the most popular because it is sponsored by one of the most famous fighting game players in the world. Now, this is a very good stick but it's also pretty pricey. Uh, they make this stick for both platforms, for both 360 and PS3. But now is an important time to note that uh, 360 is compatible with PC as well because Microsoft makes drivers for their Xbox 360 controllers, but PS3 is not compatible with PC. Uh, the build quality is very, very solid. Uh, it's large enough not to feel like a lunchbox. There are some metal parts that are used at the bottom in its construction, which contributes to its build quality, but some people actually complain that it's too heavy. It's not. Those people are beta fans. The buns and levers are genuine Sanwa Denshi parts. Meaning, the same parts that they use in Japanese arcade cabinets and machines for Street Fighter. These buns and these, this lever right here are the standard tried and true, meaning that most fight stick manufacturers use Sanwa Denshi parts. The lever is really nice and clicky, uh, but light enough for quick and fluid movement. The buttons are the same, and there is some very nice haptic feedback. And what I mean by haptic feedback, it means that there's some pop to the buttons, meaning that you know that you pressed it, that you don't, that you're not too sure. Sometimes you're not too sure when you press the button, but from these ones, you know that you pressed it. Also, I really like the button arrangement. The button arrangements are the curve is just right no matter how you angle your hand and it's very very comfortable. I also like 
where they place the start button and select button uh, on the front side so you never accidentally uh, push it while you're playing. Some of the other features are like the turbo function, but you'll never use that. The home uh, button right here and the uh, left stick directional pad and right stick control. Um, the most important is the lock switch right here. Uh, when you flip the lock switch to the left, it locks your home button, your turbo function, and your start and select. Uh, this is very useful because during tournaments when you're playing, you might accidentally hit the the guide button or maybe even the, the start and select button and this can cause you in some tournaments to be disqualified or you may even lose a round to your opponent simply because you pause during the middle of a match. Uh, there is also a compartment for your cord right here in the front so I find that very useful. Uh, this is a great stick great first buy 8 out of 10 but a warning some of you may be tempted to buy a used one like me uh, the used one I received had PCB problems so just a fair warning depending on whether you want to save a few bucks on buying a used one this is the fighting edge which is made by Hori which you may know sponsors Hori Sakonoko who is a very very technical player this thing is a work of art. The design is simply incredible. This is your standard pretentious fight stick. Sometimes you gotta let these peasants know that you're not on that poverty game, you know what I'm saying? The build quality is mainly plastic, but it's 9 out of 10. Nothing shakes or rattles. And the paint of plexiglass on the top adds a very nice touch. The parts are made from Hori's custom Hayabusa and Kuro buttons. The lever is probably the best I've ever used. It's nice and clicky, it has a certain weight to it, but it's not too light where you feel like you know, you're pushing a toothpick. This particular stick is a square gate, and if you don't know what that means, now is a good time to explain that to you. A square gate basically means that it has a restrictor at the bottom, and you can feel each corner when you move the stick around, like one, two, three, four. Now there's other ones such as an octogate where you can feel eight corners like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Korean sticks are actually circle gates, so that there's actually no corners whatsoever. So you can do a 360 with your stick with no restrictions. But back to the stick. The buttons are the only negatives of this stick. Uh, the buttons lack haptic feedback. There's really no pop to the buttons despite them being very loud. So you don't get the benefits of a, a silent mechanical button while having the downside, which is, you know, less impact. Uh, the features of the stick are freaking OD. There's a LED touch panel on the side for your start, select, uh, lock, and button configuration button. Um, and also, there are some nice yuppie lights that you can turn on uh, which are really flashy and cool. Um, I mainly use it to blind my opponents, but they are pretty bright themselves, so I actually end up blinding myself, so minus a point for that. But other than that, um, it is an 8 out of 10 stick. Uh, I would, if you know how to customize, I would actually recommend that you switch out the buttons. So this is the Fighting Stick V3. I don't have the actual stick because I gave it away a while ago, but I remember the important details. It was decent, the build quality was subpar, but the stick was more than sufficient. The PS3 version was actually compatible with PC, so that's a plus. Uh, the button started giving away after some prolonged use, but it's a decent stick at a price range that most people would shell out for a first stick, so I would give it a 6 out of 10. Now this is the Quamba Q2 Pro. This is, as of right now, my daily driver. Awesome, awesome stick. This stick is actually made by my Chinese brethren, which is very, very surprising because I don't expect anything of good build quality to come out of China. The lever and the buttons are Samwa Denshi parts. The lever feels like the Mad Cat's Tournament Edition stick, 
but the buttons are much much more responsive and I really really like that haptic feedback when I'm playing and now the design is very very cool uh, but it's conservative enough so it doesn't scream for attention the best feature to me is the fact that this stick is dual modded which means that it can work on PC, Xbox 360 and PS3 so I don't have to carry around two sticks at every event you have your standard start select home and turbo button but they're kind of awkwardly placed uh, but it's out of the way enough so you don't accidentally press them when you're playing I should mention that this doesn't have a lock button and to me this would be a perfect stick if it only had that lock button it has a magnetic uh, compartment for your cord on the side which I think is a very nice touch it also has a very well designed carry handle on the top so I can just grab my stick, walk away from my opponent very quickly while he's trying to explain what he was trying to do. Well, I'm just playing more like quickly walk away while hiding my salty tears. To note something, this is a very expensive stick. So don't go buying this if you're just going to quit fighting games in a month. Or it's going to be a very expensive hunk of plastic sitting in the corner of your room. This is a type of stick that you buy when you're sure what you want in a fighting stick. But this is a very excellent stick, excellent build quality, excellent lever, excellent buttons, very good functionality, uh, 10 out of 10 would buy again. Well that's it everybody, thank you very much and I hope that I answered most of your questions. And if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them in my next video. Anyways, this concludes this segment of Suryukabra, and I'll see you guys next time.